The U.S. government has struck a prisoner swap deal with Iran. Five Americans in a notorious Tehran prison have been moved to house arrest. This is the first step in the proposed agreement. In exchange, Iran will get billions of dollars of assets unfrozen. Now, negotiations, they have been going on for quite some time. In fact, NBC News first reported on talks back in February. A number of countries did help pull this deal off, including Oman and Iraq. NBC News Tehran Bureau Chief and Correspondent Ali Arouzi joins us now. Ali, first, just tell us about these Americans who were set to be released. Who are they? Why were they imprisoned in the first place? Hey, Morgan. So we know that there's five of them that are due to be released. Uh, two of them, their family, have chosen to remain anonymous. Um, the three that we know of have all been arrested on espionage charges. The first one is Siamak Namazi. He's an Iranian-American businessman. He was detained in 2015, sentenced to 10 years in prison for allegedly collaborating with a foreign government. He served more time in an Iranian prison than any other U.S. citizen in wow. history. Then there's Ahmad Shari. He's an American citizen who was born in Iran, left as a child. He was detained in 2018 when he came back for a visit. Shari was, is 56. He was released on bail, cleared of charges eight months later. But then the Iranian government withheld his passport, barred him from leaving the country. He was arrested again in 2020, sentenced to 10 years in prison. And the third one is Murad Tahbaz, also an Iranian-American who holds British citizenship as well arrested in 2018. He's 67 years old. Um, he, he's an environmentalist with the Persian Wildlife Heritage Foundation. He was sentenced in 2019 to 10 years in prison on spying charges. His wife was also prohibited from leaving the country for several years, and she's there. Let's take a listen to what Secretary Blinken had to say about all of this. I don't want to get ahead of its, uh, its conclusion because there's more work to be done to actually bring them home. My belief is that uh, this is the beginning of the end of their nightmare and the nightmare that their families have experienced. And Morgan, you'll notice that his language was careful because right. dealing with the regime in Iran is at the least can be very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Very deliberate. Yeah. yeah. Ali, when we're talking about what was traded to get the release of these prisoners, we are talking about a lot of money in terms of those assets that have been unfrozen, not millions, but billions. Break down for us exactly what the U.S. is giving Iran to get these prisoners. Hey, Alison, that's right. If the proposed agreement goes through, Iran will be allowed to access around $6 billion in frozen funds held in South Korea under sanctions. The funds are earmarked only to buy food, medicine, or other humanitarian purposes in accordance with existing U.S. sanctions. Now, under the agreement, Qatar's central bank will oversee the funds, but already Iranian officials are saying that the money will go straight into their bank account. So we have to keep a close eye on the transfer details uh, and, and exactly what happens and how much of it is under Qatar's control. But the reality is that even if that's freed up, it frees up $6 billion for the Iranian to spend on whatever they want at home. Mm -hmm. All right, NBC News Tehran Bureau Chief and Correspondent Ali Aruzi, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.